Hey guys, we're here with another review of a product and today we're going to be product reviewing the Alia. This is the Skin Super Serum Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Sunscreen Hydrating Natural Protection. This is what it says on the box. Niacinamide Squalene and Hyaluronic Acid. Okay, this is actually in the color ST11 Matera. So, clean brand, supposedly. I got this from Sephora and it is supposed to be a really nice natural, more natural sort of serum um, that is mixed with makeup. <laughs> and so let's take a look here. We'll just sort of play with this and you can see what it looks like on my skin. The one thing I noticed about this product in the store um, is that it's kind of, um, it's got a smell. <laughs> It's got a little bit of a strange smell. Um, it does, I'm not gonna lie, but um, you know, take it as you will. Uh, they do say that it's a natural product, so it may have that sort of, you know, effect to it. Let's though take a look and see how it looks on the skin. Take a little bit more so we can really get the color sort of profile. Shake this up. And if there's a product type that you're curious for me to try, let me know in the comments. Let's bring this light over here. Mm. Well, it seems to have settled into my skin quite well. This is not a huge shock because I've tried this in the store and I actually really liked it. but feel free to let me know your thoughts. Now it's really nice actually. It has like a juicy sort of look to it. Put a little bit more on. We'll see if we can build this guy actually. Definitely feels like an oil. Like if you were to put a serum on, an actual serum. So it does have a smell. <laughs> it tastes musty and sweet. <laughs> if that is your thing. <laughs> I feel like this would look nice with a blush and bronzer. It does sort of give me a, a little bit of a flat look. It's a little bit yellow for, I think, my skin, but overall, I think the color may be fine, may be right for my skin, but you guys let me know as well in the comments. Um, does it look a little ashy? Maybe <laughs> a little bit, maybe a little, just a little bit. But, hmm. Let's try look just a little bit more on the right cheek. It has a little bit of a sticky finish. 
and a little bit of a viscous feel. It is a, th it really is like a serum. Like, I do wonder how it would wear throughout the day. So maybe one time we'll do like a full day test. Okay, so I think I'm done with this trial. Oh my gosh, it is kind of yellow. Hmm? But <laughs> that's the look of ST11 Matera. Yeah, it feels just like a serum. Let's go in with a nice blush. I'll try the nudies. Nudie stick, sun kissed. Just to see how it looks when we liven it up a bit. And I like to go like this with my blush. I feel like that suits my face best. going with that same brush. Just to give the most subtle sort of look and contour. go in with a little bit more of the nudie stick. Sort of like a blush bronzer actually. I feel like makeup is so personal like, you know, it's like whatever you think is right for you in your skin, you, you, you'll you know what that is for you. So, you know, just follow your, your intuition with that as well. I like that nudie stick actually in Sunkissed as a contour. And this is really more for a like truly going, if you're going for that truly Sunkissed. sort of dewy look even. If we wanted to really enhance it, we could also put on the sides like that. Kind of doing like a three. And there we have it. Let me know your thoughts. Um, like I said, I want to try this like over time to see how it ends up really looking like in real life. <laughs> we'll say if I'm wearing it out, you know, because you really never know how a product does work with your skin until you really work with that product in real life. Um, you know, going out and with the wind and the sun and the <laughs> different elements, you know, how does it end up feeling for you? Um, I like it though. I think it gives a very natural look. 
a really pretty sort of natural look. Yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, maybe we should just go ahead and finish the look off with a brushing up of the brows. Nothing crazy. I'm using, this is um, Airbrow by Kosas. Just to give a little bit more of a brushed up look. And while we're at it, why don't we also just add a nice little lip? <laughs> I'm going to go in with NARS Air Matte Lip Color. Even though I do feel like... This look... Hmm, it smells like vanilla. <laughs> this look, I think, would, would do really well with a nice, colorful lip. But I actually got this. This lip color for cheek. Maybe we can use it as that one time, but um, we can demo that. But I'm going to put a little bit of lip color upon this NARS ear mat. Why not add it to the rest of the face, right? Just take a little bit of this. This is by Mario. Add that in the center of the lips. So look, you guys, um, an example of how we can work with this sort of natural dewy finish. Again, let me know what you guys think. We'll see you guys in the next readings. Next readings. I keep saying that. <laughs> I keep forgetting <laughs> that I'm on the other YouTube channel, yeah, <laughs> because I have another YouTube channel where I do I do tarot readings and channeled work and astrology, and so. But I this is another another channel that I've started just for sort of beauty care, beauty hair, etc. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Let me know again what you think of this look, and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.